welcome to my Q and A. And Peanut wants to be involved, obviously. <laughs> Don't mind him. You're gonna see his big old nugget in the camera probably the whole time because anytime I turn on the camera, <laughs> anytime I turn on the camera, this is what he does. Stop. I don't know why he does this. He's like jealous of you guys. We're gonna get started with the Q&A. So I have my laptop over here. <laughs> Seriously, this dog. I had to get rid of the dog. I would not have gotten through this. Plus I have to go to work because today's Saturday. So I work every Saturday and Sunday. I am a bartender for those of you that don't know. Question number one is from T T E E. And this person asked, do I want more kids? Oh no, 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 the shop's closed. <laughs> Funny story, my husband and I actually talked about it and when we got married, I said, I only want one kid. <laughs> Surprise, I got twins. <laughs> so no, I am 41 years old, my husband is 43 years old. We do not want any more children. <laughs> Lauren Stuck, have you ever seen a lizard in the dumpster? <laughs> Never seen a lizard, I live in Pittsburgh, PA. We don't really have a lot of lizards here, um, but I have seen raccoons. Never any lizards, sorry. Patricia De La Rosa, she wants to know if I accept donations for teenagers. Absolutely. We take donations for anybody, women, children of all ages, men, it doesn't matter. Um, we have so many different places that we can donate to that are at our disposal, which is amazing, that we are able to take so many different donations. So absolutely. We will take donations for teenagers. Joanne O'Leary, how do you like working now that the new owner has taken over at the bar? So I don't know if a lot of you know this, the bar that I worked at has been open for 28 years with the same owner, um, except last June he passed away, he had ALS. So that was horrible to watch how fast he declined. You know, we were all so close with him. So this past year, um, his brother actually took it over which his brother's not really there at all. He signs the checks, he comes in and um, does what he has to do and leaves. So I actually love it because he's, he's not stepping on our toes per se, you know what I mean? He knows we all know what we're doing. We ran it while, while his brother was very, very sick and we did a great job. And I think he knows that we know what we're doing and he trusts us with that, which is great. How is your mother-in-law doing? She is, oh, that is from Miss Rita Bergen. Wait, <laughs> you guys know I could never pronounce names. Rita Ber Bergren, I think I said it right. I'm sorry, Miss Rita asked, how is your mother-in-law doing? She is doing great. She has her second cast on. She just had her stitches removed. Those of you that don't know, my mother-in-law had um, some kind of foot surgery on like her, um, like the out part, <laughs> let me show you with my big old foot, like this part of her foot, I forget what it's called, but she is doing much better and she should be home the second or third week of June. Um, because her bedroom is on the second floor here and she is in a cast, so she can't do the steps here. So that's why she's staying at my brother-in-law's, but she is doing a-okay. Michelle 2019 asked, did you see a post about someone leaving a bunch of gift tags around a dumpster with your name on them? Yes, Miss Michelle. So there is a Facebook page. I am very rarely on Facebook because of the drama per se. Um, there's a lot of keyboard warriors. There's a lot of bullies, grown adults acting like two year olds on there. So I'm not on Facebook a lot. I truly am not because of that. So there's a Facebook group that's supposed to help you with dumpster tricks and help you find things, whatever. That doesn't seem to be it. It seems they are centered around a lot of drama on that page and my name seems to always come up. So I have not spoken about it on my channel because I think that's what they want, but there was somebody that took a whole bunch of Bath and Body Works tags and put my name, like two, Dumpster Dive and Mama of Two from their name, which I'm not gonna say, and they scattered them all over the dumpsters, all over the ground, all over the place. I'm not doing this to be like, I'm the best dumpster diver. I'm gonna get all the stuff, blah, 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 blah. I'm doing this to help people. All you're doing is creating trash on the ground and putting your name and my name on it 
which is absolutely immature. I don't make a mess, I clean up after myself. I try to go when the businesses are closed so that I don't get caught to ruin it for myself or anybody else that dumpster dives. That really was just completely immature. So whoever's doing that, it, you're not gonna get your name on my channel, so you might as well quit while you're ahead. <laughs> Josie Lampman asked, where, when and where did you meet Beth? So Beth and I met in, oh my goodness, how old was I? So she was 19, I was 21. We both started at this bar and I was the bar manager, she was the assistant manager and we were just great friends since then. And we worked at this bar, I worked at it for eight years and I think she worked at it for like over 10 cause I left before her. But we started our friendship there and even after we quit, we've always kept in touch. And since I started this diving, she was like, hey, I'll come with you so you're not alone. Like we become even closer than we were before. Like we are always together. Her and I text every single day or talk every single day. Like we're always going out diving together. So she has truly become like my sister and I love her to pieces. Destiny Newbie says, have you ever seen a gun, bloody clothes, or wonder if there was a murder, like true crime junkies here. <laughs> no, I never have. I'm so sorry, Destiny. <laughs> um, Anna Coley asks, have you ever found a dead, what is with you people and dead stuff? <laughs> have you ever found a dead animal before in the dumpster? The reason I ask is because when some people's animals die, they put them in the dumpster instead of cremation. That's what I did with mine. Girl, no, don't do that. Anna, Anna, we don't do that. <laughs> At least bury it in your backyard, girl. Don't put it in a dumpster. Oh my goodness, I can never do that to my fur babies. I mean, to each their own. I'm not putting anybody down for anything they do. Um, I'm not that way. Everybody does their own thing and that is fine. I have never seen a dead animal in a dumpster and I pray to God I never do because that would break my heart. This is from Jake B Jake, you know I'm gonna struggle with your name, boo. Jake Buttram. I'm sorry, Jake, if I just totally messed that up. Jake B. <laughs> Hi, Shannon. Has anybody or anyone scared the crap out of you and Beth? Yes. Oh my goodness. If you guys remember, I think this was last, was it last year? It was either this past winter or the last. Beth and I were standing at the pet dumpster and no joke, I'm filming from my car and you see us looking through the dumpster and here comes this big tall man, like totally just walking like normal, but we didn't hear him walking up behind us. And he's like six foot five and he comes walking up and he's like, do you find anything good? I jumped up in the air screaming. I about knocked Beth over, run back to my car and Beth is just like, dude, you can't walk up on people like that. <laughs> Like she just stood there like it didn't even phase her. I left her in the dust and ran to my car. <laughs> he was a, a metal scrapper, so he was looking for anything metal in the dumpster. Another funny story. Beth and I were checking out some new dumpsters that we had never been to before. And I have the camera in my car, like the back of the dumpster was facing my car and the opening was facing the building. So it was real strange. So you see me walk up to the dumpster and peek my head around, no joke. The second I peeked my head around, I had two eyeballs right here. It was a freaking raccoon. I screamed, jumped, plowed Beth over. She almost fell, screamed raccoon at the top of my lungs and ran back to my car. <laughs> She's like, what am I running from? I'm like a raccoon. <laughs> oh my God, it was so funny. Next question from Stephanie G. Do your neighbors watch your channel? Not all my like, adult neighbors do, but a lot of the kids do, which I think is so sweet. And some of them do watch, but you know, not a lot. And I don't mind that they don't watch it. Okay, Miss Linda Scrivener. If I mess that up, I'm so sorry. How do I find your PO box to send a donation? In my description box below every single video, if you hit the little arrow that's pointing down, it opens up like the description box where it describes the video. And then at the bottom, it has a lot of arrows and it says my PO box and it points down. My PO box is always there. And she said also the app to see the live unboxing. There is no app 
Well, you have to have a um, account on YouTube and then be subscribed to my channel. All being subscribed to my channel does is give you a notification when I go live or when I upload a new video. So when it says that I go live, you have to be on to click on that video at that time that I'm live. If you are not on YouTube at that time, then you'll have to see the repeat. So that's why it's always good to be subscribed to the channel so you get notified the second I go live. Gail Garcia, here's another one about Facebook drama. Miss Gail said, hey sweetie, they've got a post on Facebook about a note on a dumpster for you at Burlington. I don't know if anyone got a hold of you about it yet. Miss Gail, I do know about the note. Um, this was not a note written from a Burlington manager. This note looked like it was written by a fifth grader. Mm -hmm. Also, they called me Big Mama of Two after they scratched out fat, which is just immature. Um, I mean, I'm not the the centerfold of skinny over here, okay? I had twins. I know I got a little belly, but I am not fat, nor would I ever call somebody fat or do something like that if I was a manager of a store. Second of all, the way that they wrote the note, like their grammar, they must not have graduated high school, so I highly doubt that they are <laughs> a manager of a store. Um, thirdly, a store knows damn well if they don't want me in their dumpster, you put up a no trespassing sign. You don't put up a sign to me. So it was another diver that did it, took a picture of it, posted it on that Facebook page to try and get all the other divers mad at me because they think that only I'm the one that goes dumpster diving. These stores don't think anybody else goes in their dumpster. Come on. Store managers, store employees know there's a lot of dumpster divers. It's a thing. A lot of people do it. I'm not the only one. And I personally go at night when they're closed most of the time so I don't get caught. So I don't know what this Facebook group has against me or the people in it, but they truly, truly need a new hobby. Their negativity will never bring me down, honey. Never. So y'all can keep sitting in that group talking trash and I actually had a girl sit there and say um because I don't belong to this group but I have tons of subscribers that are actually and they all send me screenshots so I see everything everyone says but um one lady was like oh yeah she she's getting too big for her drawers she got her house because of YouTube this house my husband and I saved for freaking years years my husband works 12 hour shifts, sometimes six, seven days a week for us to afford this house. Plus we sold our house in the middle of the housing market going through the roof. So we got extra money for selling our home. Plus I have worked two jobs. My husband has worked an amazing job. So it's called saving money and prioritizing and paying your bills. YouTube has nothing to do with my home. And even if it did, why are you concerned about it? Like, I don't care if this person over here is a stripper and pays their bills and has a nice house. Why would that bother me? I don't know them. Good for you. Get your money, get your hustle, however you need to do it. I don't care. If it doesn't affect me, then I have no opinion on it whatsoever. And I wouldn't because it's none of my business. Do you know what I mean? Like, even if I did get this house from YouTube, it's nobody's business. <laughs> like, who cares? A lot of YouTubers get their homes after they found success on YouTube. I'm not that big. I have 63,000 subscribers. I don't know how much money you think I make, but it isn't that much. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> but yeah, this Facebook group, they need to find a new hobby. I thought it was for like tips and tricks and finds. It's more about talking crap on Shannon. So. <laughs> I don't know why, but that's their thing, so whatevs. You're gonna have haters, you know, and if you don't, you ain't doing something right, so. Okay, Miss Kayla Davenport says, when did you start wanting to go dumpster diving? Hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you, Miss Kayla, I hope you do too. I started wanting to go dumpster diving the first time I watched Freaking Frugal. That was the first channel I watched and I was freaking hooked, man. I couldn't believe the stuff that they were pulling out of this Aldi's dumpster and I'm like, there's just no way. Like, this is perfectly good food. 
So I started by checking Aldi's and like I was getting like I think my first video I'm like, oh my god, I found stuff at Aldi's guys and I had like my robe on I was legit in my robe Oh, it was horrible and then I started watching other divers and I'm like oh, They got all this awesome stuff out of the dumpster like this is this is fake. This is fake and then I started checking the dumpsters and I was like, oh, snap, it ain't fake. <laughs> so that is how I started. Miss Lauren Wells 726 said, how did you shake your first dive jitters? Well, my first few dumpster dives, I did not record myself. Um, I was scared, I was nervous. I didn't wanna get caught. Um, I did go during the day because of course, you know, I didn't wanna go at night yet. Um, but I literally just went and took a peek in the dumpster, acted like I was throwing something away. And when I seen there was stuff in it, I said, oh yeah, I'm getting this stuff, buddy. <laughs> Those jitters just went straight away after I seen all the stuff in the dumpsters. But I do have to say the first few times I was on camera, I was very nervous. I just like, I was so worried about always how I say stuff wrong. You guys know how I am. And then I just realized like, Shannon, this is how you are. Like, this is me in real life like I talk backwards I mess words up that's just who I am so I was like if people don't like it then they don't have to watch me so I'm just not gonna worry about it and I'm just gonna laugh at myself like I normally do when I have jack sentences up <laughs> um, Rachel Diane Ames said please do more dumpster diving videos <laughs> I do as much as I can right now miss Rachel I'm sorry I'll try and get more out for you Shannon Hinton nice name she says, can I please come dive with you? It would be so much fun. Maybe we could have a contest. Love your channel. Thank you so much. Yeah, definitely. Come on diving, girl. We'll, we'll get something together. Send me an email. Frederick says, have you made a video of the girls' new rooms? No, I haven't yet. We still haven't finished their rooms. Um, we're kind of just doing a little bit. It's expensive, you guys know. And I haven't really found a lot in the dumpsters for them. So we're just doing a little bit at a time. But I will show the finished product, I promise. And I was horrible and didn't get before pictures, so that's my own fault. <laughs> Joanne Sprague said, at what age do you think your girls will want to go with you or even if they do want to carry on in about 20 years, LOL. They went with me when they were very young when I didn't have a babysitter and I first started diving. They would stay in their car seats in the car and never let them out. Um, and I would only check a few dumpsters with them. I never went like six hours with them. I would have never done that. But I would check just a couple with them. Um, they hated it. <laughs> Sometimes they would hold the camera for me, but they're they're not interested. They'd like to reap the benefits, but they don't want to come with me. So I don't think they'll ever be in a dumpster. <laughs> Next up, Miss Natalie Riviera. If I want to start dumpster diving, what are some things I should know? Like, what advice can you give me? I've never done it and honestly want to. Well, Miss Natalie, um, the advice I would give you is start small. Find two or three dumpsters in your area or not too far from you that you check on a daily basis and see if there's anything in them. Figure out their routine. When do they get dumped? When do they not have anything in the dumpster? Write it down. So figure out those three dumpsters, start small, go after they're closed, take your time, go with somebody so you're not scared and just, just do that and see how it goes. And if you get better and you get good at it, then you know, add another one, add another one, and just keep going. Amy Bates, hi, my question is, when do the unboxing of the No Nation, why doesn't Beth join you in person? Oh, when you do the unboxing. Uh, Miss Amy, Beth does not like to be on camera. She likes to be behind the camera, holding the camera for me, recording, um, helping me, you know, grab the stuff out of the dumpster and put it in the car, but she is not a camera person. So I respect her wishes on that and I try not to put her in camera very often. There are times, of course, that you'll see her helping me because I'm obviously recording the dumpster and she comes in front of it. She doesn't mind that. She just doesn't want to be like this, like sitting in front of the camera talking. She, she just doesn't feel comfortable and I completely respect her wishes on that. So I try to edit out if she's on the camera like facing forward, I try to edit those out because she just doesn't want to be on camera, and I respect that. Miss Mary Cleek asked, what prompted you to go into dumpster diving for the very first time? Freaking frugal, watching that channel. And I think there was another one. It's I don't think she's been putting videos out. Ball, Balotti dogs, Balotti dogs, something like that. I don't know how you say it, but <laughs> I watched her channel a lot, and that's how I figured out about pharmacies, how much they threw away, so. 
She she got me looking into those. Miss Claudette says, hey ladies, what would you do if dumpster diving was illegal and they only use compactors? Miss Claudette, I would cry in the corner. <laughs> if it was illegal in my area, I would cry in the corner, but then I would say, it's gotta be legal somewhere else. So I'm gonna travel to that state and we're gonna go dumpster diving. And I would just do out of state dumpster dives. I would figure something out, girl. <laughs> Cause we all know my cooking videos aren't that great. So <laughs> that ain't gonna save me. <laughs> Vicki Lennon says, have you got an Amazon wish list for donations? I do not miss Vicki, I apologize. But if you go onto Amazon, um, all the way at the bottom, it's called Amazon Smiles and you type in Western PA Diaper Bank, then anytime you make a purchase, a small amount of that money goes to the Western Pennsylvania Diaper Bank. There's tons. You could put in even if there's any local organizations that you wanna to donate to in your area, type it in that box and see if it comes up. And Amazon makes a donation every time you buy something to that organization. It's amazing. It's called Amazon Smiles. Check it out. Miss Michelle Baumgartner, Michelle B, okay, because I know I jacked that up. I'm sorry, girl. If a few dumpster divers asked you and Miss Beth to join them split on whatever y'all find one night in a completely new town, would you and Miss Beth join? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, I don't know if you guys seen the last, what was what video was it? I don't remember. It's the one where I found all the loofahs. Those two other divers came up on us while we were in the dumpster and we shared everything with them. We gave them a ton, then I got out of the dumpster, they got in. We don't mind sharing. I always leave stuff in the dumpster anyway for other divers if there's a ton. So what's the difference if they're there and I just give it to them or if they get in after I leave? You know what I mean? Sharing is caring, guys. Okay, Zombie asks, hi Shannon, what is something you would love to find that you haven't seen yet? That is a good question, Zombie. I don't know. Hmm, that I haven't seen yet in the dumpster. Like a, a brand new TV, <laughs> that would be cool. Or um, a brand new mattress in, in the wrap, because I've never found a brand new mattress yet. So that would be cool. Farmer Jess said, what is the most expensive thing you have found and what is something you hope to find in the dumpster? So that kind of goes with the last question from Zombie. The most expensive thing I've ever found in the dumpster, I found a Pier 1 chair that was $350 when I first started. I found a brand new couch. You guys remember that one? That's from way back in the day. I found a ton of Ulta makeup. There's so many. Like, I honestly couldn't pinpoint one. There's one where I found a ton of tie-dye kits that were $28 each, and I think I found over 100 of them in the Michaels dumpster. So, there's so many dives where we found over $1,000, $2,000, $3,000 worth of merchandise. So, there, there's a lot. <laughs> Patty Rose says, do you plan to go visit any other divers and go diving with them? We were trying to do one with Double D, but he has stopped putting videos out now, but if he ever would want to go diving, I would so go and visit him because he came and visited us and we had such a good time with him. So I would definitely go with him or freaking frugal. <laughs> Henry Brill says, hi Shannon, what is the weirdest thing you found in the dumpster? Somebody went number two in their undies and put it in the <laughs> Dollar Tree dumpster. That would be the strangest <laughs> and grossest. Oh, so gross. Patty Evans, how did you meet your husband? What did both families say when you said that you were having twins and how did Beth meet her husband? I met my husband through work. He was a steel worker and I was in the office. It was a small uh, metal fab company in Braddock, PA, and that's how I met him. And the first time I seen him, I was like, I'm marrying him. And I did. <laughs> what did both families say when you said that you were having twins? Their jaws hit the floor, just like me and my husband's when we found out. <laughs> But it was exciting. Like, we were all so excited. Like, I'm so happy now that we have twins. Like, looking back on it, I'm just so blessed. And I'm so happy they were healthy. We we had a scare with Kylie. Um, I had a very hard pregnancy. I was considered very high risk. Um, I almost died in labor. Like, it, it was scary. But I would do it all over again. Because they're the best things that's ever happened to me besides my husband. So... 
oh, you're gonna make me cry. Um, and how did Beth meet her husband? Beth met her husband when she was bartending. He was a customer. Sue Montgomery, how did you become so passionate about diving? When I first started, I wasn't that passionate about it. Like I was excited to find stuff, but when I started getting so much stuff that like, I was like, I don't know what to do with all this. I can't keep all this in my house. I'm gonna be on hoarders. And then I was like, I don't know what to do. Like, where can I take this? Give me some ideas. And then Miss Tara reached out to me and was like, listen, I know where you can take this stuff. I'll help you. I'll take it there. When she broke it all down to me that all these organizations need all this help, it just ignited a fire in me what, that was like, oh my God, like, Instead of this going to the landfill, I'm helping so many families and so many kids and women and like, like I could cry, but it, I can't cry. I gotta go to work. <laughs> Don't make me cry. I was just so excited like to, to know that I'm helping people in need. When I was younger, I didn't have a lot. Like I was very poor. I grew up very poor. I had a very bad childhood, but knowing what I know now, like I make sure my kids have everything and I do everything I do for them. But knowing there's some kids out there that grew up or growing up like I grew up and I can make their day a little brighter is what keeps me going. Like, I don't wanna cry. God, <laughs> it just, it means so much to me, you know? Like I know what those kids are going through. So it just means a lot. All right, I'm crying now. I have to go to work. So I have a lot of questions left. I don't even think we got that far. So what I'm gonna do is pop back on here either tomorrow or Monday and hopefully have this video out to you Monday evening. And that's the plan, so. And I'm gonna finish answering the rest of these questions so we can get this Q&A uploaded finally. I know it's taken me forever. Just bear with your girl. I'm a busy woman. <laughs> so we left off at Ashley at the round table. What do you love most about dumpster diving and what do you hate most about dumpster diving? Would you ever teach your kids how to dive for goodies? Uh, what I love most about dumpster diving is you never know what you're gonna find. It's like Forrest Gump says, dumpster diving is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. <laughs> That was so corny. I'm leaving it in though. I don't care. <laughs> That's just me. I'm corny. No, but really that is what I love about it. Like you just never know what you're going to find. And what do I hate most about diving is some of the other divers that make messes that keep going during the day and getting caught. And then these divers on that Facebook group coming back around to that, try blaming it on me that it's my channel getting these dumpsters locked up. When in reality, I'm never caught at the dumpsters that are being locked up. We did get caught at $1 General. Um, it was the one that we said we were looking for boxes. So I, I can't say that I've never, you know, done something where a dumpster's been locked. It could have been for me. But a lot of these other divers think because I have a YouTube channel and I'm showing what I'm doing, that all these stores all of a sudden know and they're gonna start locking their dumpsters and it's my fault. Dumpster diving was around way before I started my YouTube channel and I'm not the only YouTube channel that does it. So I guess they're just mad because I'm doing it in our area and they're also from this area, but they're gonna have to get over it cause I ain't going nowhere. I've become so passionate about what I do now because I'm helping so many people. So I won't quit because of that. Um, and I enjoy it. I love doing this. I love showing you guys what we find and I, like this is just so much fun. So I ain't gonna quit, but it, that is what I dislike the most. I wouldn't say I hate it because I don't hate anything, but I dislike it. Miss Sally Sh Shiler or Schiller, sorry, sorry. I'm sorry, Sally. <laughs> Sally S. <laughs> Do you donate everything you find? I love watching you. Hi from PA. Ooh, Miss Sally, you're from PA. Yes, we donate almost everything we find. I would say 99.999%. Um, Beth, of course, will keep anything she likes. I, of course, will keep some things I like. My kids are welcome to have a few things if they like. My husband always gets some snacks. <laughs> like, we're not too good to take stuff from the dumpster. Like, 
I don't just donate it all because I'm like, oh, I don't want it. I donate it all because I want to help people. But if there's something really cool, then absolutely. Girl, this chair, this blanket, all this decor up here, it's all from the dumpster, girl. The plant behind me. Oh yeah, I, I've kept a lot of things over the years. I've been doing this for over four years now. So you definitely uh, add up some things over the years. Chelsea Paleski asks, hello, love your channel, watch every video. Aw, thank you. My question is, do you travel into Ohio or West Virginia to dive? I have never, no, but I am open to it because I've been telling Beth we need to go on the road and do some diving in a different state. So that may be coming this summer, you never know. <laughs> Clarity Dawn, oh, I love my Clarity. She said, may sound odd and is totally up to your mother-in-law, but you've always talked about her with such love and respect. Do you think she might say hello to us sometime? No, because she also hates being on camera. <laughs> She does not like being on camera, but she is always in my lives and um, she always does watch. So, and she reads the comments. So if you guys ever want to say hi to her, you are more than welcome to say hi to her in a live or um, even in just a comment. And I'm sure she would respond. Miss Dory Gitsies, I'm sorry if I jacked that up, Dory, said, why are these businesses not locking their dumpsters? I love the videos and think you're awesome for paying it forward. Thank you, Dory. I don't know why. They don't lock them. Um, some businesses do. And it's sad because we've come across a few dumpsters that are locked and you can tell the lids have been pried open. So we don't break into dumpsters. That I'm not going to jail over this. <laughs> you know, so we, we leave those ones alone. Mary Beth Mc, McRoy. Mc, uh, <laughs> Mary, Beth, <laughs> Mary Beth M. Okay, I'm sorry, I am I am horrible with names, guys. What's the best dumpster dive treasure that you've found? So many, I can't, I just can't name just one. There's been so many. Jessica Swoops asks, just one question for you. What got you started dumpster diving? I've answered that. Watching other diving channels like freaking Frugal. I could not believe my eyes. Like, I never even knew about dumpster diving until I found it on YouTube and I was like, Psh, mind blown. This is amazing. I need to do it. <laughs> Kathy Hannah, can you give us the basics of how to start a YouTube channel? Oh, that would be a whole video in itself, Miss Kathy. Maybe I will do that one day. Uh, but there's so many other videos that you can, that's how I learned. I literally just watched other YouTube channels on how to edit. Like editing is the hardest thing. My one piece of advice for that is to use uh, iMovie. It's so easy. It is so easy. And that's what I use. And it's very simple to use. And they have tons of videos on it on how to use it. So that would be my suggestion for you. Kathy Fields, I have a couple questions. Hope that's okay. Yes, it is. Do you ever keep anything anymore? I know you donate, which is amazing. But you and Beth deserve things after all the hard work. Yes, uh, we do keep things. Absolutely. Like I said, you can look all over my house. I have tons of, I think I have a, a video or two where I showed you a lot of my dumpster stuff in my house. So I might need to do an updated video. And she also asked if I would ever go to Erie. Absolutely. Erie is probably like four hours from me. So Beth and I do absolutely want to make a trip up there for sure. Marcia Garcia said, what is the scariest thing you and Beth found in the dumpster? That raccoon where I almost peed my pants. <laughs> it was so close. It was so scary. Sammy Norris, did you see the sign posted on the dumpster to you? Yes, that was the sign of fat mama of two or big mama of two that we talked about earlier. We ain't touching on that again because we're over it. That that definitely was another diver that did that. It was not a store manager. I'm not stupid. <laughs> they think I am, but I ain't. Priscilla White, would your husband ever go dumpster diving with you? He did one time when I found the couch that used to be in our game room. <laughs> I have him on video with it too. And it is so hilarious. We had so much fun doing it, but he would never go again, unless I need help. If it's something like a couch again, he would help me, absolutely. But it's not his thing. Jennifer Moisen asked, have you ever approached the stores and asked if they could set aside items for you? Um, I've never approached a store manager or an employee and specifically asked that, but I have been approached by employees and managers that were like, it's okay, it's okay, you can stay in the dumpster, just please be careful. And I've had managers come out to me and say they will set items aside for me and have. 
And I appreciate that so much because once I tell them what I'm doing and how I'm donating this and how it's helping so many people, they, they understand. And like, there's a lot of managers and employees that also think it's wasteful. And then there's a lot that think, what are you doing? You can't, that's stealing, even though it's their trash. You know what I mean? Like it, there's no in between. You're either like, okay with dumpster divers or you absolutely hate them if you're in a store employee. I don't know why it's like that. I wish people could be more open-minded, but that's just how it is, you know? And it, that's sad, but what can you do? Kim McKenna asks, have you ever found something very valuable in a dumpster that was thrown in there by accident? No, <laughs> I wish. I wish I found like money or something. I found a dollar. <laughs> No, nothing like super valuable other than like store merchandise, of course. Irish Last 5160, she asked, when you started dumpster diving, did you ever think it would get to the stage and helping others with it too? Never. I never thought I would become to over 60,000 subscribers. I didn't think I'd get over 25. Even when I hit 25K, I was shocked. I never thought in a million years it would be where I'm at now. Like, this is amazing. And I'm so, so grateful for you guys because without you guys, I wouldn't be here. And I'm so excited that it's turned into what it has because I am so passionate now about giving and donating and helping people in need. And it's just grown into something so amazing with you guys sending donations and Beth and I finding so many awesome things now and being able to donate it all. Like, it just makes my heart so happy. It truly does. Next question, get in loser. <laughs> I like your screen name. When did you start diving and what was your most amazing score? We've answered that. So I'm gonna skip yours, but I had to say your name because I like it. Angela Neverez, has there ever been an animal alive in the dumpster? Yes, the raccoon. We didn't get in the dumpster though. We ran away. <laughs> also, whenever an employee catches you, what do you guys say to play it off? I'm looking for boxes. <laughs> Ronna Goodwin said, I admire what you and Beth do for the less fortunate. When are you going to have a cooking video? You guys have been on my butt about a cooking video. I feel like I do so horrible at them. So I'm like embarrassed to do them, but I, I will put one out soon. I promise, I promise. But I just think they're so bad. <laughs> okay, Diana Praviong. I'm sorry, Diana. Diana P. Okay. I'm sorry. Have you ever had the urge to dive when you're traveling? Yes. Like for example, when on vacation, absolutely. When we go on vacation every summer, I always tell my husband, I'm going to check the dumpsters. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> be on the lookout for another vacation vlog this summer where I will be diving in a different state. For sure. Mary Ellen Gaudet asked, what's the worst thing you found in the dumpsters? The underwear with the poop in them. No need to say more. <laughs> and the last question is from Lisa Schultholler. <laughs> no, that's not how you say it. Lisa Schlotthauer. Schlotthauer? Is that how you say it? Lisa, I'm sorry. Lisa S. I have three questions. How did you and your husband meet? How long dating? How long married? We met at work. We dated for a year and nine months. Well, okay. We dated for six months and he moved into my house. I owned my own home. He helped me fix it up and then we bought our other home before we moved into this home together. So we were together for a year and nine months before we got married. And then we have been married since 2013. So I love him to pieces. <laughs> were you surprised at having twins or did you do any fertility procedures to have a multiple birth? No fertility completely natural. We had no idea that we were going to have twins, but it has been the best thing that's ever happened to us. I will say that. I love my babies. And finally, how long have you and Beth been friends and where did you meet? I already answered that. So that my friends is all of the questions. Hopefully I answered everybody's questions fully and you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big old thumbs up and I will be back out at the dumpsters. So be on the lookout for another diving video and maybe just maybe a cooking video too. We'll see. <laughs> but that is going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so very much for asking all of those questions. I appreciate every last one of you. So as always, happy diving. Bye guys.